Then I learned through the thing, you can't be on the Olympic team because you didn't get any points for the world golf rankings because live doesn't count because it's only 54. You've made it into the top 10 with just majors somehow without all the other tournaments that I assume you do well at. Like, where do you stand on this? Are you incredibly bummed out that you're not able to represent the United States? And I'd like to let you know, I think I speak for everybody in the United States. We wish you were representing the U.S. at the Olympics, brother. Well, I appreciate those words. I would love to represent the United States. It was uh, tough for me not to go last uh, last time around because of COVID. And uh, it's just one of those things that happened. And, you know, hopefully one day this game of golf will, will get figured out and come back together and I'll be able to play. Um, I'm playing great golf. I'm excited, uh, but ultimately, yeah, am I frustrated, disappointed? Sure, you can absolutely say that, but I made the choices that I made, and there's consequences to that, and I respect it, uh, but hopefully, hopefully sooner rather than later, we figure that out, so um, this great game of golf, we can get past all that and, and move forward into showing how awesome this sport actually is uh, around the globe. I appreciate you taking responsibility and saying I made choices, yada, yada, yada. And Team USA can make choices, too. They can say, yep, yep put exactly. that guy. Yeah. Hit the big, <laughs> long true. ball. Whack. Yes, they can, yeah. Shambo. Yeah. Amen. And it's kind of awesome that a live guy's winning, right? Like, we kind of need the live guys to perform better than the PGA guys because hopefully then the PGA does make a, okay, we no longer have all the best guys in the world. They're going to have Scotty forever, so no matter what, that doesn't really matter. But as long as, like, the Brookses and the Brysons continue to show up and be in those final Rom groupings. needs to get there too Rom, with his yeah. injuries. Yeah, calm. Um, your first point there about the PGA and live mm -hmm. and PGA getting something done, it's like, I understand why the golf purists got so mad about this live deal. For sure. Because every major when these guys are playing with Great. each other. Ooh. That's why we watch. Great. Like, Truly. Scotty Scheffler, like, this is why the Team USA thing, and we'll bring it up to DeChambeau in like 34 minutes or so. Like, do you care about not being on the Olympics? Because I'm pissed about it. Like, the world golf rankings deciding that 52 holes or 54 holes, whatever it is, can't be enough for us to properly judge and yada, yada, yada. It's okay. That's the world golf rankings. That's them. Hmm. Team USA could still say, nah, but the hottest golfer we got right now see is this one right here. And we know yeah. that is the case. And he's still top 10 without us judging all of the tournaments he plays all year, except for five of them. It's like, if Team USA was to make that decision, we'd be pumped about it. But I wonder if Bryson even thinks about it. He knew the decision he made whenever he went to live that he'd be off the world golf rankings. But who gives a shit what the world golf rankings have to say if you're Team USA? That's my big thing. And I said, well, this is the this is the procedure that we've used since golf was put into the Olympics. It's like, well, you could change because it's only been in the Olympics a couple, one time. Yeah. Like, you could certainly change this to put the best team out there because Scotty Scheffler and DeChambeau battling for an Olympic gold. Mm. I mean, that would be that would be yep. so sweet. That would be so sweet. And when you think about Scotty Scheffler, he had the worst weekend of anybody. Yeah. yeah. He could have had a weekend off, yep. which would have been amazing. You know, he, he, he hasn't really – he's been in jail a couple weeks ago, <laughs> winning every single – has a baby, mm -hmm. this entire thing. He gets plus five. That becomes the cut line. Yep. Yeah. So he has to stay for the entire week. Can't withdraw your number one golfer in the world. That's not Scotty Scheffler golf. But if he misses the cut by one – he has a nice more two days yeah. at home. Oh, yeah. Going home. The entire situation. Instead, he's irrelevant at a tournament that's one of the majors and doesn't get any off time. But we need them to be golfing more often together because it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah for sure. And with Bryson, like, he seems like one of those guys. I think, uh, like, last Olympics, a lot of the guys scoffed at it. It's like, well, who gives a shit? You know, like, Olympic golf is kind of a new thing. Like, obviously, winning a gold medal would be cool. But he seems like the kind of guy who, like, Xander, like, you know, was – you know, he's like, hey, that's like a defining moment of my career. Obviously, like I really like an want Olympic gold yeah, medal. Yeah, exactly. But uh, like a lot of guys weren't even like didn't even want to go down to Brazil to play because it was like, eh, whatever. You know, like I, I'm not winning any money. It's kind of it was kind of Mickey Mouse. But with Bryson too, like I think going to live is part of the reason he's had this massive baby face turn because he's obviously matured and gotten older and kind of been able to poke fun at himself. But like. He was so overexposed. You saw him every week, and you'd see his antics, and I think people were like, all right, enough of this asshole. We're always hearing all this stuff. And now he pops back in you know, at majors pretty much, and he's he's almost winning, and he's fun to watch. So it's like I think he's benefited moving over, and like not even necessarily from the golf, but I think if he would have stayed on the, the PGA, like I think the sentiment of how he was viewed three years yeah. ago would be the same. Well, and his YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. His, YouTube, able to is do all, that. his yeah. YouTube is awesome. It's good mm -hmm. content. And, you know, definitely maturing and changing as you grow and evolving. But I think he just started owning who he is. For, for sure. Like I, Instead of like trying to be like, Fake tough guy. Yeah, he's no. I'm yep. a, I'm a nerd, dude. He's, he's been authentic from day one, doesn't it? It feels like a dude that like the whole crazy roller coaster that has been 
Bryson's whole like his fame and what he's been doing on the course. Like I, I feel like a dude just been super authentic the whole time. Now I don't know he could be fooling everybody. That'd be a heck of a an acting job. I don't believe that's the case. But yeah, like a dude that just been him from day one. He's kind of grown and progressed and gotten older and matured. And we get to watch it. Man, what a what a, I don't know how he can ever top this. And I never thing. and I never see winners sticking around. It's always ever. like ceremony and then let's get the hell out of here. He yeah. was like, man, I don't want this night to end. They're killing <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. He stuck around uh, too when uh, when Xander won. You know, stuck around. Obviously, obviously, you need to stick around for a playoff potential playoff. But yeah. stuck around, shook, shook his hand. But uh, kind of going back to the that team aspect thing. That was one of the things I asked him. In Houston, I'm like, how how quick did it take you to get used to like the team golf thing? Because that's what people, a lot of people are against. He was like, oh, immediately. He was like, you know, I play on a team in college, obviously Ryder Cup, President's Cup. So he loves that type of atmosphere. So I would love, I don't know how they can make it happen. I'm sure this whole grading system and shit will have to change at some point, I think, in the future with how the game of golf is evolving. But I would definitely love him and Scotty on the same team because they seem like obviously two great golfers, but mm -hmm. completely, Polar opposite. completely yeah. opposite. Like yeah. Scotty's super stoic. DeChambeau's in there, you know, at the tee box having yep. conversations with fans, signing autographs on the way, you know, in one of the biggest moments of his life. So I would love to see it, and, uh, but I do love seeing, you know, just the game overall just growing. And Bryson DeChambeau is like this with everything. Mm. Yeah. Like everything. And he goes back and up. And <laughs> Scotty Scheffler is swinging yep. out of his shoes. <laughs> yes. Every, every, his entire golf game is like – just, I'm going to rip the shit out of this. Yeah. Where DeChambeau is like, I need to go about 74% mm -hmm. with this particular club at a this percent increase or decrease on the downhill. And Scotty Scheffler is seemingly just wheeling and dealing mm -hmm. out there. And then the personalities don't match. No. No. Yeah, it's the opposite. Right. They don't match the, you know, it's, it's like, they are awesome. And, and like, Bryson just being like, uh, what is seemingly like a representative of golf is what he felt like. Bingo. Whenever he's doing the YouTube content and then talking to the fans and hitting shot. And then like whenever you go out and play with him, mm -hmm. you talk about Phil Mickelson coaching. It felt like DeChambeau is doing the same exact thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah. I feel like he wants to represent Loves golf. his golf style yeah. as well. I read a uh, golf writer last night who's been following Bryson. He said for a long time, I wish I could give him credit. I can't remember what his name was. Uh, but he said back when people didn't like Bryson, it was because – he just didn't understand what it meant to be like the face of golf and be so famous and he's never and now he it seems like he understands that more than anyone on the tour like he understands what his job is as as a face of golf and what he's supposed to be as someone who's that famous but for the uh, olympics the last olympics he was actually super bummed out because he was supposed to be on the olympics team got covid couldn't go mm. gave a gave an interview about how bummed out he was because he wanted to represent his country and stuff like that bummed out yeah, yeah.